learning that we have to do a daily devotional. I guarantee that is going to be such a life-giving thing for you and such a change from perhaps the, the way that you felt like you had to do it before. Hello friends and welcome to the Truth Booth and welcome to Ask Me Tuesday. I just had to take a little time off this summer for a road trip, but here I am back again and I'm going to draw out one of your questions and answer it. So let me find the question here. I am a mom of young kids. I have tried and tried to get regular daily devotion time and keep failing. Any suggestions? That's a tough one. My mind immediately races back to that place in my life. And so I know what you're talking about and I've heard so many other young moms talk about this. Um, first of all, just let me encourage you as a young mom, my goodness, you are alive. Your children are alive. <laughs> And you are in that time of life of such incredible daily moment by moment sacrifice, learning what it means to lay your life down for real. I know and I remember you don't even find time sometimes to take care of your own bodily needs like brushing your teeth or taking a shower or feeding yourself or getting sleep, getting adequate sleep. And so one more thing I know that that is a struggle when you're a young mom is finding the time to be in the word and to take in what you know you need to be able to give out as much as you are tough time but i want to encourage you this is a space in life where perhaps you're going to have to get a little bit creative i was just talking about this a few weeks ago to a, a young mom friend uh, the thing that i suggest is that you kind of throw away the rule book that says that you need to be doing a daily devotion um, where you're reading a chapter or two in the Bible and maybe trying to journal or take that in or whatever. Um, I don't think that's real practical <laughs> when you're a young mom. And I don't really think it gives you what you need to spiritually be nurtured. My suggestion would be really what you need is a study of the word. And you really need it at this time of your life because you can keep going and, and keep trying to do and do and do on your own. But you really need the strength of the Lord in your life right now. This is a time where God is like pounding at your heart, teaching you patience, teaching you how to sacrifice, teaching you how to put others first. Um, he's teaching you all those good, good things right there. And if you don't have the word coming in to your life during that time, it kind of gets twisted around and you either start feeling like you have to be superwoman, and, and if you are, it's all in your own strength, or you end up just completely giving up because you can't do it, instead of really um, having a firm foundation in the Word that is constantly reminding you of who you are, who God is, what it is that He's going to give and pour into your life during this time. The, the incredible history we have of God's caring and God's love for us. So. I would suggest, saying all of that to say, I would suggest that you kind of throw out the rule book a little bit. And it might be easier for you to find like one chunk of time a week that maybe you can work out with your husband, that he gives you this one chunk of time, like a good chunk, like a two hour time. Um, maybe work it out with a friend, especially if you're a single mom. Work it out with a friend, maybe trade this back and forth, giving each other that one chunk of time where you are going to be in an intentional study that you're doing on your own, having the time to sit down, really go through the word, really know how you're going to approach the word. Um, I'll put in the description box, I'll put a couple of suggestions of really good books that can help you know how to approach the word how to study the word effectively, and then just take your time and take the pressure off. Take your time going through a book of the Bible at a time. It doesn't matter. There's no rule book to that. You don't have to go through the book in a week, a month, a year. You can take as long as you want digging through one book of the Bible, giving really good study and taking it in and actually seeing God's bigger plan, seeing the Bible as a whole, uh, putting things into context, really taking the time to research and study out uh, the passages that you are reading. 
That's what I would suggest, especially at this time of life. We should all be doing that at every time of life, but maybe in my time of life, I have more than once a week to do that perhaps. But when you're a young mom, just being able to find maybe that one block of time, and then you contemplate and meditate on what you studied the rest of the week when you can. <laughs> But that is what I would suggest. And if you haven't taken the time to really learn how to approach the word, how to study the word, more than just having a little devotional reading, um, I would suggest you look, at, look up and order one of the books that I'm gonna put in the description box and, um, and read that first and then go to the word. I guarantee that is gonna be such a life-giving thing for you and such a change from perhaps the, the way that you felt like you've had to do it before, learning that we have to do a daily devotional. Do fill your life daily with things, but in a different way. Um, maybe listening to listening to the word, just letting it play in your house. I still do that when I'm busy, just letting the word play in your house. Bible Gateway or different places like that, you can just click the little uh, sound icon and it will read whatever you have looked up on there, we'll read through it for you and we'll just keep reading. And even if you're interrupted, it'll keep going. That's one really good way to keep filling your home and your soul with the word. Also, I know that there are groups that are around that have put out albums that are just the word put to song. Um, one I love to listen to is Shane and Shane. They're, they're, they have, at least I know I have two albums that are just the Psalms being sung. So those are really good things I think to do on a ba daily basis. What I like to do is have that word playing, whatever book I'm studying, just have that playing in the background in my house over and over and over again as I'm studying through that book. So that's what I would suggest to you, but I just want you to know I see you and I know um, I know what it's like to be in that time and space of life. And congratulations that your kids are still alive and <laughs> that you are really concerned about having time in the Word. That tells me a lot about your heart. And so I would just say, find that block of time, find somebody that can give you that block of time, or maybe it's gonna have to be that one day a week you're really regimented on once the kids are in bed, you take that block of time. You don't run to something else because you're just so tired and you need that time by yourself, just doing something brainless. Maybe one time a week you need to do like take a two hour block to just really be in the Word, even a one hour block, to just really be in the Word once a week. That's what I would suggest to you. Hang in there. You are a life giver to your kids. And that's why it's so important for you to tap into the life giver so that you have a continual flow of love and grace and mercy coming out of you. So thanks for asking the question and I'll see you next time.